Hello, hello, hello! I'm Eugene Cap, and this is Cap and Design TV, and welcome to the show. Today is a fantastic day, which I've been waiting for. Um, for the last little while, I've been asking people to submit suggestions for tutorial videos, and I've actually compiled a nice list of suggestions made by you, the audience. And today will be the very first video made from that list. From Ease Gutierrez. I'm so sorry if I mispronounce your name. And it basically reads, and I'm, I'm going to paraphrase just so this makes sense. I wonder if you could upload another one of your visualization tutorials and how to do it. The thing is, I've been finding ones that are really unoriginal. So basically what he wants is he wants another tutorial just like the one I did a while back about how to do an audio uh, waveform and a visualization for a soundtrack or a song. Um, I did it on Rasta Rapper's uh, YouTube channel and I showed you guys basically how to do it. And yes, I showed a very, very simple technique of how to do it. And basically the way to make that more complex is simply playing around with settings. I mean, you have multiple different techniques as far as creating um, audio visualization pieces on After Effects. And you know what? We're just going to jump in. We're going to see how to put one together. And hopefully this will this will answer your, uh, your request. So the first thing you're going to want to do is create a composition inside of After Effects. You're going to name it Audio Viz or Audio you know, visualization, depending on whatever your preference is. Uh, the width for this project is going to be 19 by 20 and the height is going to be 1080 square pixels. Uh, the frame rate is going to be 30. And the duration of this is whatever your music piece actually is going to be. Um, whatever you decide to use as far as um, audio in this project is, that's that's all you. So anyway, I do have this piece of music called Action Hero. I do use it in the background of a lot of YouTube videos. And we're going to use that as our music for the for the demo. For the tutorial. Now, I'm only making this 40 seconds long, but in actuality, you're going to make it the length of your audio track. Um, I don't like to work on a plain black background so I'm going to um, pop in this image that I pulled of Pexels which is a free stock site and we're going to go ahead and edit it just slightly uh, we're gonna add a blur to it um, Gaussian blur and we're gonna move it up You know what? How about how about twenty five? Okay. Um, I'm gonna also go ahead and grab this black solid and put it right over it just to just to bring it down. Um, if you don't know how to bring it, get a black solid. It's layer new solid. And then you pick black. And you hit OK. But anyway, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and grab that another black solid. Uh, we're going to call this Waveform. Uh, to rename a layer, it's you select it, hit Enter, and then you can change it. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to Audio, Spectrum. We're going to drop it onto waveform. And you'll have a set of little dots. Now, to reset those dots as the as the audio, you go to audio layer, drop it down, and mine is called action hero. Now, as we scrub along the timeline, you'll be able to see movement. 
And maybe we're going to change the max height. Just... There we go. Now, to make it into a circle, uh, we're going to go ahead and go to Ellipse Tool. Try to get directly in the center. Hit Control, Alt, Shift. And extend it out. Now, we actually don't want this layer to be masked. Um, what we do want, it, we do want to use it as a, um, so the waveform actually adjusts to the shape of the mask. So when we go over to your effects control, go to path and mask one, and there you have it. Now, as we scrub through the timeline, you can now see See the movement. Awesome. So that really becomes our first uh, piece in this whole project. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to hit Control D to duplicate the waveform. And I'm going to call this uh, dots. Now under display options, I can go to analog dots and I can change the maximum height just a little bit. And now as we scrub through, you're gonna have little dots that are going to jump out from the waveform. Now we can go even further and I can duplicate this again and I can grab dots and I can call it, um, oh, what do we want to call this? Just lines. And then I can go to analog lines. Now it'll start creating this very funky digital piece. And, and maybe maybe we don't actually want uh, the way this looks. Uh, what we could do is we can go to um, motion blur. CC force motion blur. We can put it onto lines. And it starts creating ghosting. Now, where it was very clear before, you can actually see multiple uh, versions of the lines, the more rapid that the waveform is actually moving. You know, I don't like how this is a uh, going off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab it. I'm going to shrink it a little bit. And I'm going to grab lines and I'm going to shrink it a little bit. And I'm actually going to uh, hide the maximum length on that one. So it doesn't get too crazy goes out of view. Now, these are all very standard methods of creating waveforms or audio spectrum tied to the music. But if you really want to make this custom, uh, what you're going to want to do is add elements that aren't exactly inside and tied to your music. Um, visual cues that will allow people to stay entertained and engaged and um, you know so <clears throat> so
So these are very stock basic um, elements that you can use that tie directly to your music. Now, if you want to get even more complicated, um, you can create elements that will fit this pattern, but don't exactly actually map the, the music. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and grab another solid, black solid. So now that we have this black uh, solid, I'm gonna go ahead and go back to the ellipse tool. I'm gonna go back to the center and control alt shift. And I'm gonna make it just about that big. Now again, I'm gonna go to, I'm gonna change the mask to none. And then I'm going to go to a preset called Vegas. Stick it right on there. I'm gonna to go to the effects control palette and we are going to go, I'm trying to remember how to do this, mask path. And it's going to create these lines. And, and maybe I'm gonna hit like six instead of, that just seemed a little big. Uh, I'm gonna make the width a little bit bigger. Uh, I'm gonna change this to to white. I feel like white is gonna be a good call for this. And then I feel like um, we're gonna want this to, to rotate. So I'm gonna hit Alt. I'm gonna hit this stopwatch button and down in the layers is gonna come up this area that you can put in, um, that you can actually code different effects. Um, so I'm gonna put time, time uh, negative 150, and then I'm gonna close it out. Now, when we go through the timeline, it's, it's going to move. How about that? Now to make this actually visible, uh, we're gonna have to go to, I'm gonna go to toggle, mode, and I'm gonna put screen. And I'm gonna call this round about. I don't really know what else to call it. But as we scrub through, Now, from this point, you can actually create more of these and maybe I'm going to want um, two segments and I'm going to want the width a little bit bigger. And maybe from this point, you're like, you know what? I'm not gonna do a ton. I just want something that doesn't look like everybody else is. So from there, so maybe from this point, um, you're like, hey, it doesn't look like everybody else is now. It looks a little bit different, something a little bit cooler. Um, from there, I'm just gonna put my name on it, slap it on. And you can really get as complex as you want with this process. Uh, you can put a million little um, motion design thingies in there. Um, you might want to do uh, something with Element 3D. In fact, that's probably a tutorial I would love to do for you guys at some point. Um, anyway, uh, you know, let's just let's just finish this out. Let's just. just call it let's just call it my music and this is really big I'll call it
Call it my music. Actually, I, I hate the way this, uh, the centerpiece looks. There. There we go. You know, this is starting to look really interesting, but you know what? Maybe, hold on. Maybe I'm gonna duplicate the lines, bring it right underneath. and then bring it right to the circle. And then what I'm gonna to wanna to do is make it so it only comes in, side A, and you know, let's call it uh, digital lines. So it actually almost interacts with that back piece. Uh, for the title of your, your song or your music or whatever the channel name is. Um, yeah, you know what? Just play around with it. Try to get as crazy and unique and awesome as you want to get. I mean, it's it's really up to you. Uh, I mean, I can show you a hundred different ways to, how to make a music player, but it really is up to you to find your own style and to find new ways of making things that other people might have not uh, come up with yet. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial, request tutorial. And if you guys, if there's anything else you guys want to learn, go ahead and leave a comment down below and I'm sure I'll be able to throw it up on the list of things that I want to make for you guys. Uh, if you learned something, go ahead and hit the like button. If you've seen more than one of these videos before, we're now in a relationship. Let's make it official. I'm Eugene Cap, and this is Cap and Design TV, and I will see you in the next video.